math time. Sum of angles in a quadrilaterals. Okay, for the sum of the interior angles in a quadrilateral, that is always equal to 360 degrees. So just like in our illustration, we have here angles A, B, C, D. These are the interior angles of quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So right here, if we're going to combine the measure of each angle, we have here angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle D. That will give us a measure equivalent of 360 degrees. Again, this is for the interior angles of a quadrilateral. Same thing when we're going to talk about the exterior angles of a quadrilateral. You will still get a 360 degrees in measure. So how does it look like? So we have here. So that could be an exterior angle of our quadrilateral. Same thing here, we have angle C and angle A and so with angle D. So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle D is equal to 360 degrees. Now let's proceed. So let's apply that idea in this problem. Let us solve for the measure of angle M or angle A in this illustration. So we have here a quadrilateral M, A, T, H or quadrilateral math. And we are asked to find or solve for the measure of angle M or known as angle A. With of course that the given angles, we have 160 degrees as the measure of angle A, measure of angle T equals 80 degrees and measure of angle H equals 100 Okay, so we'll just simply go back to the definition for the interior angles of equilaterals. That the measure of angle M plus the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle T plus the measure of angle H is equal to 360 degrees. Okay, so that's it. So let's now substitute the given. So from there, measure of angle M is equal to angle A. And angle A equals 160 degrees plus 80 plus 100 equals 360 degrees. So let's combine them together, the 160, this one, 80 and 100. So therefore you would have angle A is equal to 340 is equal to 360 degrees. And then since we're looking for the value of our angle A, so therefore, this 340 degrees will be transferred to the other side. As we transfer that one, we will apply subtraction property of equality. So, uh, as we transfer, that becomes negative 340. So, therefore, you would have angle A is equal to 360 degrees minus 340 degrees, a total of 20 degrees that means the measure of angle m is equal to 20 degrees so if you're going to double check of course you just simply have to substitute the measure of the angle a which is 20 degrees so right there 20 plus so 20 plus 160 that is 180 then plus 100 you would have 280 plus 80 a total of 360 degrees so that's the measure of angle m that we are looking for okay so let's proceed to the second one solve for the measure of angle s or angle c so from this illustration we have quadrilateral s t a r or quadrilateral star and what we're looking here is the measure of angle c same pattern you would have the measure of angle s plus measure of angle R, t rather plus the measure of angle a plus the measure of angle r is equal to 360 degrees substitute there you have it we have 110 plus 100 plus 100 equals 360 degrees. So we're looking for the measure of angle C. So there you go, 290. 
So that 290 will be transferred on the other side, applying subtraction property of equality. So therefore, you would have 360 minus 290, a total of 70 degrees. So that 70 degrees is the measure of angle S. So right here, this would be 70 degrees. Now let's proceed. Okay, for number 3. Okay, solve for angle E or angle D. So this part in here. So we have quadrilateral C, E, uh, C, L, U, E or quadrilateral clue. So we're looking for the measure of angle D or you could name also as angle E. So from here, we'll apply that the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle L plus the measure of angle U plus the measure of angle E is equal to 360 degrees. And substitute, you would have it there. Okay, 250 plus angle D equals 360 degrees. So uh, transfer 250 degrees to the other side and that will give you 110 in degrees. So there you have it. That measure of angle D is 110 degrees. Okay, next. Solve for angle Q or angle X. So as you can see, we have here angle P is 80 degrees. Angle Q is X. And angle R is 2X. And angle S is 70 degrees. So this is not difficult. This is very easy. We'll just simply follow the formula so you have there measure of angle p plus measure of angle q plus measure of angle r plus the measure of angle s will always be equal to 360 degrees and then as you substitute you would have it there 80 plus x plus 2x plus 70 is equal to 360 degrees and then you will just simply combine x at saka si 2x so as you combine that would give you 3x degrees and also the whole number 80 degrees and 70 degrees so that is equivalent of 150 degrees equals 360 degrees so we're looking for the value of our x so this 150 here will be transferred on the other side so that's why 360 minus 150 is equal to 210 so to find x, we have to divide both sides, the numerical coefficient of our x, which is 3. So divide both sides by 3. So 3x divided by 3, you will get x. 210 divided by 3, therefore you will get 70 degrees. And that is the value of our x. So from here, this angle Q here, meaning this is 70 degrees. And for the angle R, that is 70 times 2, a total of 140 degrees. So to double check, if that value, that X value is really correct, so we have here 70 plus 140, that will give you 210. 210 plus 70, that is 280. 280 plus 80, therefore you will get a uh, total of 360. Okay? So that's very easy. Now let's have number 5. Find the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 4. So this is an exterior angle theorem of a quadrilateral. So right here from the given that the measure of angle 1 is 2z plus 10, angle 2 is 75, angle 3 is 120, while angle 4 is 2z plus 5. So to, to have an equation, you have the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 360 degrees. So let's substitute. So measure of angle 1 is 2z plus 10 plus measure of angle 2 is 75. Measure of angle 3 is 120 plus measure of angle 4 is 2z plus 5 is equal to 360 degrees. So we'll just take it out, the parentheses, so you have it there. You can see already 
uh, common terms like 2z and this 2z here. So to combine, that would give us 4z. While 10, 75, 120, and 5 is equal to 210. And we are looking for the value of our z. So 210 will be transferred on the other side. So that's why 4z is equal to 360 minus 210. And that is 4z is equal to 50, 150 rather. And to get the value of our z, we divide both sides by 4. And that's why 4z divided by 4, you, you would have z. While 150 divided by 4, you will get 37.5. Now, let's now use z value, which is 37.5, to find the measure of measure of angle 1. So to solve for the measure of angle 1, you have measure of angle 1 is equal to 2z plus 10. So 2 times 37.5, which is the value of our z, that will give us an 85 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 here is 85 degrees. While to find the measure of uh, angle 4, we have 2z plus 5. So 2z, so 2 times z, which is 37.5 plus 5, you will get a total of 80 degrees. So that means that the measure of angle 4 is 80 degrees. So to double check, 80 degrees plus 85 plus 75 plus 120, that will definitely give us exactly 360 degrees. Okay? So let's now have number 6. Alright. So this one, measure of angle 1 is 100. Measure of angle 2 is 2x minus 10. While measure of angle 3 is 2x and angle 4 is 110 degrees. Same pattern will do. To solve for x, you would have measure of angle 1 is 100. Measure of angle 2 is 2x minus 10. While measure of angle 3 is 2x plus 110 for the measure of angle 4. Okay? So to simplify, we'll just simply take it out the parentheses. And we could have the similar terms. So 2x right here and 2x here combined that will give us 4x. And those value, uh, I mean, a uh, whole number 100, negative 10, and 110, that will give us 200 in total. So to simplify, same pattern, x therefore is equal to 40 degrees. To solve for x, I mean to, the, to solve for the measure of angle 2, you would have it there. 2 times 40, you will have 80 minus 10, a total of 70 degrees. Okay, now how about for the measure of angle 3? There you have it, 2x, so meaning 2 times 40 is equal to 80 degrees. So that's the measure of angle 3. 80 degrees while measure of angle 2 is 70 degrees so to check 70 plus 80 plus 110 plus 100 you will have 360 degrees there you go so thank you so much and i hope that you've learned something out from this topic and this will help you in learning math so once again, thank you for listening. God bless everyone.